Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. Today I want to do a follow-up to a video we released a week ago. In that video, Mark and I created a custom iPhone rig, then used an app called Double Take to record a four-way conversation with our friends Justine and Jenna Ezrick. Since that time, we've had many requests on how we did the multi-cam editing, particularly the quad split. This is the first actually double take four way interview here. This is pretty impressive. Now I have to give a shout out to my good friend, Chris Fenwick, who came up with this particular multi-cam workflow. And it's freaking awesome. Check it out. So I'm in Final Cut Pro 10 right now, and I have the four angles that we recorded from our two iPhones using double take from Filmic Pro. I brought them in as ProRes files because when you're dealing with this many angles plus a quad split, you definitely want to maximize playback performance. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all the angles that I wanna turn into a multicam clip and choose new multicam clip. I'm gonna call this double take edit and uh, make sure use audio for synchronization is checked and click OK. So I have my multi-cam clip here. I'm gonna put it into a project. I already have a project open, so I'm gonna just drag it down into the timeline. Press Shift Z to fit to window. Now, I'm gonna open up the multi-cam clip by double-clicking on it. And here you can see all my angles. Notice as I skim over each one, you can see there's Jenna, there's Justine, there's Mark, and there's myself. Now if I want, I can change the angle order. Maybe I wanna put, put me up there. Maybe have Justine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all these. Press Command C to copy. Come out of the multicam clip. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, go to the end, and press Command V. Now what I've done is I pasted all the angles at the end of the multicam clip and they're all in sync. I know they're in sync because I copied them from the multicam clip container. So before we actually get into resizing these and putting them in their proper locations in the screen, I wanna cover a little bit of math first, one of my favorite subjects. So here is a graphic of the coordinates that you're going to use for setting up your quad split. Each color represents the position of each angle in Final Cut Pro's Euclidean coordinate system. I just like saying Euclidean. The important thing to remember is that the coordinates you enter is based on the project resolution you're working in. This project is 1920 by 1080. If you split the full frame into fourths, each angle would take up a space that's 480 by 270. The negative and positive values determine left, right, up, or down relative to the X and Y axis. So for example, to place an angle in the upper left, the X position would need to be negative 480 and the Y position would need to be positive 270. So first thing is I wanna do is I wanna scale this. So I'm gonna select this, press Command 4 to open the inspector and under scale, I'm gonna start with Justine and enter 50% for the scale. Now I don't wanna to have to do that for every angle, so I'm gonna select it, press Command C and then select these other angles press Command Shift V to bring up the Paste Attributes window. Scale is already selected because it knows that's what I've copied, and then I'll click Paste. So all of the angles now have the same 50% scale applied to them. Now I'm going to use my coordinates. So I'm gonna put Justine in the upper left. Using my coordinates here, my quad graphic, I want her up in the upper left, so I wanna use minus 480, positive 270. So I'm gonna go over here to Position, and enter minus 480 tab to 70 return you can see her angle is placed in the upper left corner of the quadrant now i have to decide oh do i want jenna up the right or do i want mark with what myself i think i'll put mark in the upper right corner so i'll select him and you know the upper right coordinates are going to be positive 480, 270. So I'll go over here, 480, tab 270, return. So he's right up in the upper right corner. Now we'll go and uh, put Jenna in the lower right corner, and that would be look 480 minus 270, 
So the select that 480 tab minus 270 return. So we have little old me left and that's going to be minus 480 minus 270. Tab minus 270. All right, so we have the quad, and these are all in sync because I copied them from the multi-cam container. Now, I'm just gonna select these angles, and I'm gonna turn them into a compound clip by pressing Option G. And I'm gonna name this Quad Split, and press Return. Now, I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna select that, delete, press Command Z to zoom out, now I want to do is jump into the multi-cam container by double clicking. All right, so now that we have the quad split compound clip created, we need to create an angle for that inside our multi-cam container. So up here under the Justine angle, I'm going to click that and choose add angle. And uh, I'll name this angle quad split. It's great. And now I'll locate the compound clip and I'll drag it into the angle. It doesn't really matter where, just drop it. Now, here's a cool thing. I, I need to sync this with the other angles. So how do I do that? If you click this button, you can choose sync to monitoring angle or sync selection to monitoring angle, which begs the question, what is a monitoring angle? Well, the monitoring angle is the angle that's currently being output to the viewer, which is identified by the icons right here. So right now I'm the monitoring angle, but if I click on, let's say, Jenna, and now she's the monitoring angle. It really just allows you to see your angles of the viewer. That's all a monitoring angle does. So I'm gonna set this back to me. So I'm gonna click on this little carrot here. I'm gonna choose Sync Selection to Monitoring Angle. And notice the clip just moves into place and it should now be in perfect sync with the other angles. So what I'm gonna do next is jump out to the parent here and I'm gonna open the angle viewer by pressing command shift seven. And I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna close the browser. And notice here are my angles. There's all my angles, including my quad split. Let's see if it's in sync. Two iPhones kind of cross from each other so we can record four people at the same time. And all right, pretty cool. Now, I want to use the audio from my angle. So what I'm going to do is option click on that angle and I'm going to select this video only icon. So when I cut, it's just going to cut to the picture, but it's going to use the only the audio from my angle. So that's how we're going to set it up. And now let's do a multicam edit. Right, here we go. So here's our cut. To another edition of Matt Freak Studio. We're here in Los Angeles at uh, Justine's Vlog University. And Mark and I are in the same location uh, shooting with the new filmic app Double Take. I didn't say Double Tap, that's a zombie movie. <laughs> anyway, so we've got this rig set up right now. Um, Mark had this idea of mounting two iPhones kind of across from each other so we can record four people at the same time. And we have the lovely sisters here, and they're on this. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so didn't to make it clear, we're really all here. We can move our hands here. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, yeah. way too many hands. Yes, yeah, a lot of It's like, I hands. can even come over here. Now, was that cool or what? Now, before you take off, I want to let you know of a new plugin we've been working on called Punch-Ins. If you've ever been frustrated by trying to scale and position something or use a Ken Burns effect, we've greatly simplified the process with this new plugin, and we can't wait to show it to you. It's going to be debuting later this week, so make sure you click the bell to be notified. And if you've been helped by this channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.